Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, the community of St. Ezekiel Moreno Novitiate Recoletos celebrates the solemnity of St. Ezekiel Moreno with the theme, San Ezekiel Moreno, Ipanalangin Kami Sa Panahon ng Pandemia. Together with our prayers and petitions today, we implore the intercession of St. Ezekiel for the healing and recovery of those afflicted by the COVID-19 pandemic. We also offer the following intentions. Thanksgiving Mass offered by Mr. and Mrs. Antonio Condat and family for the special intentions of Lusada family, Adelantar family, Amelita and Lustre family, Sadiongo family for the healing of Chad Sadiongo, Donato Prado, Leonardo Mabel, Joy Agbuya, for the souls of Ignacia, Juan, Rosalina, Hilario Senior, B Victor, Felix Berto, Marnie, Joshua, Euphemia, Jose Amparo, and for all the souls in purgatory. Joining with us today also via Facebook Live are the OAR religious and priest Augustinian Recollect Sisters, Secular Augustinian Recollects, Recollect Augustinian Youth and Friends. Saint Ezekiel Moreno was born in Alfaro, La Rioja, Spain, in April 9, 1848. He professed his vows in the Order of Augustinian Recollects in Montiagudo in 1865. He was ordained priest in Manila in 1871 and worked for 15 years as a missionary in the Philippines. He left for Colombia in 1888, where he restored the Augustinian Recollect Order and reactivated the old missions. Named Apostolic Vicar of Casanare and Bishop of Pasto. He was a model of pastor for his fidelity to the church and for his apostolic zeal and fell ill in 1906 and returned to Spain where he died of cancer on August 19 of the same year in the convent of Montiagudo. Innumerable cures, especially of cancer, are attributed to his intercession. In his sincere desire to serve, he drew an unfailing strength when the interests of Christ and the church were involved. As a shepherd, completely devoted to his faithful, he bore with fairness all kinds of trials, including the painful cancer that accompanied him during the last months of his life and that brought him to retire at the convent of Montiagudo, where he died. He was canonized by Pope John Paul II in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, on October 11, 1992, during the closing of the fifth centenary of the evangelization of Latin America. May his example and intercession help us to live faithfully the gospel of Jesus Christ. As we celebrate today the Eucharistic celebration in honor of St. Ezekiel Moreno, let us all stand and welcome Christ and his ministers, Most Reverend Noli Boko Didi, Auxiliary Bishop of Antipolo, together with some OER priests.
We are gathered today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, for us to be worthy in these sacred gatherings, let us acknowledge before God our sinfulness and ask His mercy and compassion. Together I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, my thoughts and in my words, and in what I have done, and in what I have been to do, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray, O God, who in the bishop, St. Ezekiel, give us an example of fidelity to the gospel and a pastor after the heart of your son, grant us through his prayers to leave us joyful witnesses to Christ and always to be faithful to our consecration to the service of your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. 
As a shepherd tends his flock when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered. When it was cloudy and dark, I will lead them out from among the peoples and gather them from foreign lands. I will bring them back to their own country and pasture them upon the mountains of Israel, in the land's ravines and all its inhabited places. In good pastures will I pasture them, and on the mountain heights of Israel shall be their grazing ground. There they shall lie down on good grazing ground, and in rich pastures shall they be pastured on the mountains of Israel. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek. The strayed I will bring back. The injured I will bind up. The sick I will heal. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Preaching the gospel is not a subject of a boast. I am under compulsion and have no choice. I am ruined if I do not preach it. If I do it willingly, I have my recompense. If unwillingly, I am nonetheless entrusted with my charge. And this recompense of mine, it is simply this, that when preaching, I offer the gospel free of charge and do not make full use of the authority the gospel gives me. Although I am not bound to anyone, I made myself the slave of all, so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak, I became a weak person with a view to winning the weak. I have made myself all things to all men in order to save at least some of them. In fact, I do all that I do for the sake of the gospel in the hope of having a share in its blessings. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the good news to all creation. The man who believes in it and accepts baptism will be saved. The man who refuses to believe in it will be condemned. Signs like this will accompany those who have professed their faith. They will use my name to expel demons. They will speak entirely new languages. They will be able to handle serpents. They will be able to drink deadly poison without harm. And the sick upon whom they lay their hands will recover. Then, after speaking to them, the Lord Jesus was taken up into heaven and took his seat at God's right hand. The eleven went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord continued to work with them throughout and confirmed the message through the signs which accompanied them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May yung buntag sa atong tanan. Happy fiesta na rin. I count it a uh, blessing to stand before you, uh, being invited by your community to preside, or to preside as a presider of the occasion of the feast of Saint Ezekiel. Go to the whole world 
um, preach the good news that is also our juridical claim no? as a believing people that we have or we are entitled to have a place in this society. No? Yan ang ating historical, uh, juridical uh, identity as a followers na kinakailangan natin ay pahayag ang mabuting balita. Kahit anong mangyari. <laughs> Allow me to share uh, my reflection no? uh, especially in our social, economic, and political perspective whereby we as a, believers peop a believing people also is affected. I know you're familiar with the 100 years ago, si a German uh, sociologist, no? si Max Weber, whose work or uh, uh, philosophies uh, as a social scientist, no? which are also applicable in our present so uh, situation. And it has been also uh, adopted by the, the modern uh, philosopher, si Taylor, who is the, 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 they called him as the father of secularism. These are the product also of secular mind uh, realization that religion being questioned. Tinatanong na nila ang relihiyon na parabagang hindi na kaakit-akit. Irrelevant na. And when in fact, modern psychology, as again, uh, quoted on the mind of uh, uh, thinker, a secular, secular thinker, si Taylor, na they considered religion, in particular, Catholicism, our Christian belief, as psychologically disordered. No, that is their way of uh, propounding Talking about disorder, psychologically disorder, meaning we are outmoded, antiquated, and therefore has no place or hindrance, or we call social capitalism. Sa gabal tayo sa pagunlad sa tawag natin pro modernities. Sa gabal. So ito yung video kaakit akit ngayon, lalo na sa mga bagong generation. And to tell you the truth now, that is also, excuse me, I'm sorry, that is one of the agenda of the secular government to discredit religion, in particular Catholicism, the Catholic faith. No. Hadlang tayo sa tawag social capitalism. Sa gabal tayo. Kaya minsan natatanong ko nung nagsimula ng lockdown kasi nasanay ako nagmimisa maraming tao maraming pagpasok mo lang nagmamano paglabas may sobre imagine po five months nakita ko yung walang saysay yung pagiging obispo ko kasi magto two years pa lang eh. nagmimisa ako walang tao Ikaw, reader, psalmist, gospel, tapos walang humili, no? kasi walang nakikinig. Sabi ko sarili, ano sa isay ng pagiging obispo ko? Parang na, na, I, I realized that partly parang it says meaningless. Kaya naiyak ako sarili ko eh. Ubuti na lang inibitan nyo ako. <laughs> At least nagamit ko pa yung sinisi. <laughs> so it is also a challenge to all of us. No? Tulad ng ating mahal na uh, patron, uh, a member of our congregation, na kahit man hindi nakaaya-aya sa tingin ng mga makabagong panahon ay paninindibigan natin yun 
Let us go back to the basic and fundamental narrative or discourse of the life of Jesus as imitated by St. Isidore. Yung kababaan ng loob. Simple ang buhay. Mas na-realize ko ngayon ang simple ang buhay. Totoo yun eh. Kasi dati nangungutang ako ng sasakyan. para may sasakyan, medyo sikat ang dating. Pero masakit ang ulo kasi nagbabayad ka. Narealize ko ngayon eh, kung nangutang ako ng sasakyan, walang koleksyon, wala, hindi ako happy sa sarili ko. Cellphone mabuti na ang cellphone ko, yung cellphone na, uh, yung, ano, <laughs> hindi ko lang nadala, basta yung makatext lang, makatawag. So ngayon, wala nang text tawag kasi walang pambiling load. <laughs> Yung joke ng the aside. Lang. So tulad din ng ating go by, going back to the forefathers of our congregation, no? si St. Augustine. Uh, talagang maging restless yung buhay natin kapag ang ating values na kultura we adopted according to the design of the modern world, ay eh talagang iba yung ating magiging pananaw. At sa karanasan, no, ngayon, kahit sa Europe, I, I don't know, the, nagiging appealing ang buhay ng mga simpleng buhay. No? Lalo na yung mga nasa monastic. Maraming pumupunta. Maraming pumupunta. attractive sila. Sa amin, akin, <laughs> parang, <laughs> yung nga, yung, yung muli, because, again, uh, be rem- oh, on my part, I was reminded that, no, that I have to go back to my grounds, that my priesthood is in accord with the priesthood of Jesus Christ. Talaga, no, yung buhay. No. Kaya isang paalala din sa akin, no, Uh, kasi dati para bagang kaya ako naging isa dahil may stipend no? pero ngayon na-realize ko pare ako kinakailangan palagahan ko kahit wala nagsisimba kasi tinuturo sa atin the highest form of prayers is the Eucharist pagkat ako magrosaryo why I have to substitute the Holy Eucharist by just reciting the Holy Rosary. Hindi naman ako suspended. Hindi naman ako deprived. So, kahit we are prohibited to celebrate Mass publicly, but to say you celebrate Mass no, as a highest form of our sacrifice also for the people, for the salvation of souls. So, yun ang medyo nag uh, misan gumagaan ang sarili ko pag ko nagdarasa nagmimisa nagmimisa <laughs> misan kung may sakristan okay lang maganda pero minsan talaga busy yung sakristan kaya so nagmimisa so tayo <laughs> mga magiging pare balang araw no palagahan natin ang Eucharistia palagahan natin kasi sa aking 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 paglilinilay uh, Napakalaga, no? napakalaga ng magiging spiritual nourishment natin. Si Jesus, para tayo palalahanan ang kagandahang pagsunod natin sa kaluuban ng ating Panginoon. So yun siguro ang paraan paan natin maibabahagi ang mabuting balita. Let us go back to the roots of our vocation to follow and grounded according to the ways and values of Christ. Yan naman ang sinusunod ng ating mga no, forefathers natin. Kaya nandito tayo, naging kabahagi sa samahan ng uh, rikulitos na ito para tayo din ay magiging uh, tagapagpahayag in a little way, in a simple way, na ang Diyos ay nanatili. Lalo na ngayon, no? yung tinatanong, dami na. No? For almost, ano, nagdarasal tayo ng ng uh, prayer hinggil sa tawag natin na oratio imperata. 
uh, putting the prayers uh, reflection ni your familiar with Father De La Rosa, no? Kapon ko lang to nabasa sa inquiry. <laughs> Yun kanya, he quoted also the prayer of uh, Maloy Salombides, no? Ang kanyang, uh, why not, uh, instead of prayer of yung, yung uh, prayer uh, uh, yung oratio imperata, why not we use the prayer of being desperate? <laughs> Desperado ba? <laughs> uh, yung, kasi tinatanong na rin talaga ng mga tao, no? na saan ang Diyos nyo? For more than five months, no? wala naman. Kadadasal natin, parang nakaka-desperate na rin. Pero tulad din ng mga propeta sa Old Testament, na, napaka-profound yung kanilang mga panalangin. Yung kanilang mga lamentation din. No? Yan, nagtatanong din sila, that is a profound prayers, ay yung kanilang mga lamentation, no? being heard by God. Kasi itaw sa puso nilang, isinasalaysay yung kailang mga hinanaing sa buhay. Yung sinasabi dito sa dasal niya, Lord, pwede pong magsumbong. Ayan. May mga naghari-harian dito sa aming bayan. Ipipilit kung anong maibigan. Igigiit kahit walang katuwiran. Lord, pwede pong umiyak. Ang sakit na po kasi sa kaluhuban. Pagtapak sa aming karapatan ay tahasan. Entiris ng dayuhan ay pinag, pinapabu, pinapaburan. Lord, pwede po bang humiling bayan namin kailan, kailan ninyo pagalingin? Katarungan kailan muling pagniningin? Lupang hinirang kailan tuluyang pinalaya? Lord, pwede pong Payakap, yung yakap na mapayapa at malayo sa takot. Yung yakap na magpapaalaala na ikaw ay narito. Yung yakap na magsasabing matatapos din ang pandemyang ito. Amen. Together, let us propose our faith and believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, O Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, descended into hell, and the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. In celebrating the feast of St. Ezekiel Moreno, who made his life as a generous offerings to the gospel, let us invoke the help of God for the church and for all humanity. Let our response be, we pray to you, hear us. That the Holy Church of God be enriched by the life of her saints and that she may promote and lead with zeal the mission of announcing the gospel to the nations. Let us pray to the Lord. That all pastors of the church, united to the successor of Peter, may lead a life in imitation of Saint Ezekiel, a model shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. 
that relationships among nations may be based on mutual respect and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. That the poor, the sick, and those suffer may through this intercession of Saint Ezekiel may find Christ the consolation and relief for their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. That more faithful will be called to become missionaries who will proclaim unfailingly the gospel of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. That we who have answered the call to be witnesses of faith in Christ, Jesus, the God incarnate, by living our own vocation, we may become the church that loves and contemplates and proclaims him. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. For the world leaders, Lord God, may give them the grace to work together during this pandemic to promote justice and special care toward the poor and vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray to you, hear us. For those who are afflicted of COVID-19, that God will protect them from illness and surround them with peace of knowing that you are loved and cared for beyond measure. Let us pray to the Lord. To you, hear us. In the silence of our heart, let us offer to God our personal intentions. All of this we ask through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that mind and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we recall the memory of St. Ezekiel, we ask you, Lord, to bestow your blessing on the gift we offer you. 
May our reception of them free us from our sins and fill us with heavenly nourishment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For you filled the bishop, St. Ezekiel, with the spirit of your son and made him an ardent defender of your glory. He gave himself to his brethren in common life. He showed himself a shepherd of your flock by word and example. He saw no other glory than to serve the church. He recognized and loved your son and the poor, the sick, the weak, and oppressed. His food was always to do your will. Therefore, Lord, in union with the angels and saints, we join in singing the hymn of your glory. the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis of our Pope, Francisco our Bishop, and Bishop Noli Boko our Bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Ezekiel Moreno, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. silence of our heart let us offer for a while prayers for the peace of our the whole world in particular peace to our nation to our community peace to ourselves o lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. God, behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
let us pray. May the reception of your holy mysteries renew your life in us, O Lord, so that we who rejoice in the commemoration of St. Ezekiel may profit from his example of apostolic zeal through Christ our Lord. Prayer to St. Ezekiel Morin. Merciful Father, Ezekiel Morino, the sacred heart of your son, as your humble servant, bore with terrible sweetness and patience, his own suffering of cancer. Through his intercession, grant me healing of body and soul, so that purified by my own pains, so that the divine willness. I may become your untiring instrumental of wholeness for others. This I humbly ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wounded healer, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. We now call on Reverend Father James Castello, OAR, the pre novitiate director for his words of gratitude. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid, at sa lahat ng mga sumusunod sa atin sa Facebook Live. Mga kapatid, bagamat malayo tayo sa nakasanayan nating taunang pagdiriwang ng kapistahan ng ating mahal na patron na si San Ezekiel Moreno, Ngunit tumingin lamang po tayo sa ating paligid, marami pa rin tayong makikitang dahilan upang magpasalamat sa Diyos. At sa katunayan, nais po nating ipabot ang ating pagdiriwang o ang ating pasasalamat sa ating punong tagapagdiwang, ang masasabi nating Friends of the Reculex, walang iba kundi si Most Reverend No, 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 Noli Buko. Bishop, maraming salamat po. Marami na rin pong mga naging estudyante ni Bishop Noli na rekuletos ang pari na sa ngayon, Bishop. At uh, pinapabot din natin ng ating pasasalamat sa mga secular Augustinian Recollect Fraternity na bagamat wala po kayo dito sa amin ngayon, ngunit salamat na rin sa uh, teknolohiya. Ngayon, ang Recoletos Communications ay tinutulungan tayo na may paabot sa inyong lahat ang ating pagdiriwang sa araw na ito. Marami pong salamat sa ating Recolec Agustinian Youth na sa pamamagitan ninyo patuloy na nagbibigay ng inspirasyon sa ating komunidad at sa ating simbahan. Sa inyo pong lahat, nawa ang araw na ito ay maging sakisag ng ating malalim na pananampalataya sa Diyos at sa pamamagitan nawa ng panalagi ni San Ezekiel Moreno, isang misyonero, isang pari, isang obispo na namuhay at uh, nanilbihan dito sa ating bansa ay mabigyan nawa tayo ng biyaya, ng kagalingan ng ating spirito at ng ating katawan. At nawa sa kanyang pananalangin, tayo nawa ay mabigyan din ng lakas na harapin ang bawat na pagsubo, ang, ang mga pagsubok na dumarating sa ating buhay. Maraming salamat po at viva San Ezekiel Moreno. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Viva San Isigel.